Now, let's say you want to pass an input to your workflow. So you can also do that. And for that, we will need an input section in our workflow dispatch trigger. So when triggering workflow manually, you will be prompted to provide values. And let's look at an example to get more clarification. So I'm going to edit this file. So we have this workflow dispatch, right? I'm going to do inputs here. And the input would be param1. And you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it parameter1. And then the description. And any description you want. Is it required? Yes, you need to provide it. It's required too, but we are going to default it to hello world. So that's the default for param1. So here in the jobs, I'm going to just rename this to manual task. And over here, we are going to echo out the parameter that we will input. So over here, running manual task with param1 taller brace brace github dot event dot inputs dot param1 and this is how you're going to read the param1 with two curly braces and that's pretty much it. Now we are going to commit the changes. And I'm going to commit it to the main branch. And now we are going to go to our actions. And over here, we have workflows on the left, we have manual workflow. I'm going to run a workflow. Now you see you have a description for the param here. I'm going to just say urban as an input. And I'm going to run the workflow. And now let's see what it prints when it runs the workflow. So now it's running the workflow. And if I look over here and run manual task, it printed out the input parameter that we had provided. So this is how you can provide input parameters to your workflows.